Hi everybody, Ilan here. Today I come to you guys with another video and today we're going to talk about like all of the classics I bought recently because I bought a shitload because like recently I really want to pick up more um, classics and I want to read them and like watch the movie adaptations of them because I'm really bad at actually watching movie adaptations of classics because I've seen pretty much like nothing <laughs> so that's like my new mission in life pretty much so yeah I bought a shitload of books so let's talk about them the first out is more of a modern classic because this is Kiki's Delivery Service by Eiko Kadano and this is illustrated by Joe Todd Stanton this is um, Puffin Books edition it's really new it just came out like a month ago or so and I've never actually read Kiki's Liver Service or seen the anime and this just looked so beautiful and I have already read this one actually and it was delightful and I loved it um, but yeah this is about Kiki and she is a witch in training and then on her 13th birthday I think it was uh, she has to you know leave the nest and her parents and find a new town to move to and you know make a living there and try to get accepted by the people living there and she ends up opening her own delivery service called Kiki's Delivery Service and she uses her broom to fly around town and leaving packages or picking up stuff whatever it might be and this was really adorable and cute and was really pretty um illustration sometimes there we go so yeah, really good purchase if you ever say so myself. And then I thought I would actually start reading like Jane Austen because the only Jane Austen book I've read is Pride and Prejudice. And technically I've read it once and listened to it once as well, but wasn't my favorite back then, but that was a couple of years ago. So I thought I would give her other books a chance. So first out we have Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. And this is a lot shorter than I thought it would be because this is like not even 300 pages. Um, but this is the vintage classics and they have made like different editions depending on which author it is and this is one of the Jane Austen ones and on the back it says no one would have supposed her born supposed her born to be a heroine and then when you open the ink pages it matches one of the other books Emma in this case um, and this one we meet Catherine and she's a young girl with a very active imagination and her entry into the fashionable so social scene in Bath results in an invitation to stay with new friends at Northanger Abbey. But Catherine's naivety and love of sensational novels lead to embarrassing and entertaining consequences. So I think that sounds really interesting. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And then another Jane Austen book. So this is Sense of Sensibility by Jane Austen, also in the Vintage Classics um, edition. And this is beautiful as well. And on this one it says, I do not attempt to deny, said she, that I think very highly of him, that I greatly esteem that I like him. And then the end papers, flash, pride and pride this, and it's really pretty. Eleanor is as prudent as her sister Marianne is impetuous. Each must learn from the other after they are forced by their father's death to leave their home and enter into the contest of polite society. The charms of unsuitable men and the schemes of rival ladies means that their path to success or fraught with disappointment, but together they attempt to find a way to happiness. Sounds really interesting. I've never read any of these Jane Austen books besides Pride and Prejudice, so really looking forward to giving this one a go. Jane Austen I have is Emma, and this is also vintage classics because I hate it when people hold beautiful classics and don't say which edition it is, so we're just gonna be repetitive here already. So, matches Northanger Abbey on the inside. So in the back it says, Dear Papa, you cannot think that I will leave off matchmaking. So I don't really know a lot about this one. I just know there's a girl named Emma and she likes to, you know, play matchmaker between people. That's all I need to know because that sounds really fun. And I'm really interested to see how that's going to work in a sort of classical environment. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to read like at least one of these classics soon ish and we have another beautiful book and this is dr jekyll and mr hyde by robert louis stevenson and on the um front it says it is one thing to mortify curiosity another to conquer it so this is the penguin classics and it's so beautiful and like golden foil i don't know if you can see that very well and on the back as well and on the back it says 
All human beings as we meet them are com commingled out of good and evil, and Edward Hyde, alone in the ranks of mankind, was pure evil. So this is so beautiful, it's so short, I really didn't expect it to be this short. Um, but this is like... 106 pages, so I feel like this would be a quick read. Um, I don't really know a lot about this classic, because there's like literally no blurb or anything. Um, but as far as I know, the Dr. J. Kill and Mr. Hyde is the same person, just that they're very like split personalities, if you will. So one of them is, like he says on the back, pure evil, um, and he just uses the other personality to get that part going. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> and he just uses the other personality of his um, to like act out on it, I suppose. Uh, I've never read this book before, but I'm really looking forward to it. And I just love these editions. They're so beautiful. And now I want to collect them all, which may be a problem because, you know, I have like 300 unread books, but it's gonna happen. And we have another book that matches it. And this is Dracula by Bram Stoker on the front. It says, listen to them, the children of the night, what music they make. And this is so beautiful and shiny and sort of a rust orange kind of looking color and a beautiful spine as well and on the back it says along with the dead i dare not go out for i can hear the low howl of the wolf through the broken window this is so beautiful um i had owned dracula previously i never ended up reading it because i didn't really like the edition i had and i didn't really read a lot of classics back then because this was years and years and years ago um but i really do want to read it because like dracula that was like the first vampire story that like made vampires a thing and i really want to read it and it's beautiful and like i said this is the penguin classic i know i was doing really well about not buying a lot of alice editions but i screwed i fucked up this month <laughs> so we have alice in wonderland graphic novel and this is made by Russell Punter and Simona Bursey, and obviously based on the story by Lewis Carroll. So this is beautiful. This is by Osborne.com and it's so beautiful. And as you guys know, I love Alice in Wonderland. I've read Alice in Wonderland like 12 times or something like that. I don't know. I think I ended up reading it like 10 times in a year. And then now I haven't read it for a while. It might happen in November, I think, um, but it's just beautiful. I don't know if you can see the classic sort of eat me, drink me scene. Um, and it's just the entire story in graphic novel form. And I don't know if you can see, but I have like a lot of editions. Like half of that shelf is Alice and then the rest is Anna Green Gables because I'm obsessed. But <laughs> I'm really looking forward to reading this one probably in November. But it's beautiful. Everybody knows Alice in Wonderland is perhaps from like the Vingard Queen. Then we have The Jungle Book by uh, Richard Kipling. Sorry if I butchered that. And this is the Mina Lima edition. And it means that it has illustrations and also interactive elements. So I've never actually read The Jungle Book, but I did love the animated movie back when I was a kid. I haven't seen the live motion picture because I suck at watching movies and I don't really watch a lot. So. I'm really behind on the classics, I can tell that much. But it has like interactive elements. And we have like the monkey going on here. Like you can pull it out and stuff. I don't want to show too much because I don't really want to know too much of the interactive elements before going into the story. So I'm not going to show you guys either. Uh, but I mean, this is about Mowgli. He gets raised in the jungle by wolves. I also had to buy Pinocchio. Pinocchio by Carlos Colodi and this is also the Mina Lima edition I've never read Pinocchio I did watch the animated movie when I was a kid kind of scared me a little bit when everybody turned into donkeys to be honest but I mean I was very small then um, but these editions are beautiful and this one also have interactive elements of course um, so we have I mean, taking out all the this stuff um, but we have Pinocchio and we can like follow him out and you can move him and also you can make his 
nose growth when he lies. So in this one we meet, uh, I think, Geppetto, is that his name? Um, and he makes like dolls and stuff and he makes Pinocchio and he somehow turns into a real boy and you know, when he lies, his nose grows, you know, everybody knows the story. Pub this book was originally uh, published in Italy in 1883, so it's quite old and I've never read it and like I want to read it and rewatch the video. Here we have The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. There's a lot of classics I haven't read in this one and then there's some repeats. But I've never read a Fitz, um, F. Scott Fitzgerald book before so I'm really looking forward to it and this is just so beautiful and shiny and I love it. And this is also Penguin Classics but this is the F. Scott Fitzgerald um, collection part of it um, so they have like all uh, I think all of his books in these editions and they're so beautiful and I'm here for it I know like literally nothing about the Great Gatsby except there's like some rich people partying all the time must be the best explanation you've ever heard of the Great Gatsby kudos to me <laughs> I'll read it and I'll get back to you and come with a better explanation and then we have a Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens um, and this is the this is actually a limited edition um, book or version of it made by Thomas Nelson and it is registered trademark of HarperCollins but this is Seasons Edition and this is Winter and they only published like 10,000 of these and this is book 3,615. Um, after 18 years as a political prisoner in Bastille, the aging Dr. Manette is finally released and reunited with his daughter Lucy in London. However, there he meets two very different men, connected through their love for Lucy Manette. Drawn against their will to Paris at the height of the Reign of Terror, they all soon fall under the lethal shadow of La, Guillot La Guillotine, French Revolution. Um, and these are really beautiful. This is like lace cut and everything. So this is like the, the gray part you see is like the actual like hardcover of the book. And then everything is lace. Um, yeah. So this is really pretty and I have to admit I bought a couple. Then I also have Wither Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. This is actually a classic I have read. I read it in high school. Um, I really want to reread it because it was a while ago. And this is also the winter season tradition uh, by Tom Thomas Nelson. And this is book 409 out of 10,000. 10, so I feel like Wither Heights wasn't as popular. Pop so I feel like Wuthering Heights wasn't as popular, but I don't care. I'm just glad to have it. And this one, we meet Catherine, and she's forced to choose between passionate, tortured gypsy Heathcliff and gentle, well-bred Edgar Linton. Catherine surrenders to the expectations of her class and sets off a dominant effect with lasting consequences. As bitterness and vengeance at this betrayal are visited upon the next generation, Catherine and Heathcliff's innocent heirs must struggle to escape the legacy of the lover's tortured past. And I think it's really cute that they've like etched in C plus H in the tree, like their initials. I don't know if you can see that, but it was a nice touch. Then we have Persuasion by Jane Austen, also by Thomas Nelson. And this is the Summer Seasons Editions. And this is book 2,824 um, 2, out of 10,000. And in this one we meet Anne Elliot and she's 27 and she's no longer considered young enough for worthy romantic prospects. Eight years earlier she was persuaded by her friend Lady Russell to break off her engagement to Frederick Wentworth, a handsome naval captain with neither fortune nor rank. What transpires when they meet again is beautifully told in Jane Austen's final completed novel, uh, a brilliant satire of vanity and pre pre Pretension. Persuasion is, above all, a love story tinged with the heartache of missed opportunities. So this sounds really good actually and, like I said, never read it before. But um, it's also a lot shorter than I thought. It's like 279, so possibly a quick read. 
And then we have the Wonderland collection, as they call it, by Lewis Carroll. This contains Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass and also A Tangled Tale. Um, so there's different works by him. And everybody knows what Alice in Wonderland is. You know, go into the rabbit hole, get to Wonderland, meet Queen of Hearts, who's freaking crazy. Um, I love Alice in Wonderland stories, as you can tell. And yeah, I just needed to have this. And this is the summer edition, I believe. Yes. And this is book 3,782 out of 10,000. And if you guys are uh, wondering, I actually got this off of um, Book Depository. And then we have The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Another classic I haven't read, which is embarrassing. <laughs> um, and I don't really know anything about it either. Um, we meet 13-year-old Huck. Please ignore the washing machine. Um, and he sets off in search of adventure of the beautiful shores of the Mississippi River. When Huck escapes kidnapping by his own drunken father, he decides to leave behind his life of confinement and civilization. Soon he encounters Jim, Miss Watson's slave. Together they find a raft and embark down river. As they travel across the south, they undergo numerous exploits and capers. More importantly, however, during many long conversations, Huck and Jim become the best of friends as they both search for the true meaning of freedom and human dignity. That sounds so good and so interesting and I really want to read this one right away, but, you know, struggles. Then the very last book, which is ridiculously freaking chunky, and that is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is definitely one of my favorite classics besides Alice in Wonderland. I love Jane Eyre. I read it, I think, three times. In like a book format and then once in like a sort of comic version and this is a hunker for sure the summer season editions Oish. and also by thomas nelson and this is book 5503 out of 10,000. and it is definitely like i said one of my favorite classics so i just needed to have a second copy of it because this is perfection um i have read like almost all of the bronte books actually i think there's two that i haven't read agnes gray and shirley i think are the bronte books i haven't read but read this one several times and this is just so beautiful uh so in this one we meet um jane Eyre. she's had a really she had a life to say the least because when her uncle dies um um, Jane starts working as a governess at the house of Mr. Rochester and like he's a little bit peculiar there's some spooky ass shit going on in this house and maybe she finds true love and it's beautiful and I love this book so much <laughs> it's perfection and I really need to reread it honestly um, but yeah, those were all the classics I bought this time. I definitely have my eye on very, very, very many more in such beautiful, beautiful editions and I'm obsessed and this can only lead to problem. So yeah, let's just count how many I bought. 16 classics this time, not to count like the other 30 books I bought that are not classics, but um, you know, shit happens. Um, but yeah, if you have read any of these books, please let me know down below what you thought about them without spoiling, of course. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me some thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button down below. And yeah, I hope we see each other in the next one. Bye!